Good evening, parents, students, administrators, and teachers. Thank you for attending the 2019-2020 Virtual Awards Ceremony for Southside Middle School. We are honored to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of each Falcon's achievements in academics and the arts. Our first awards are going to be presented by Ms. Gloria Turner. She will be presenting all of the Fine Arts Awards. Please welcome Ms. Gloria Turner. Good evening, morning, afternoon, as Mr. Sullivan said, whenever you happen to be watching this. I'm happy to be here to present the awards on behalf of the Fine Arts Department. We're going to begin with our leaderships in, Leadership in the Arts Awards. These are eighth graders that have participated in two of the arts and technology classes and have demonstrated leadership in those areas. Those will be receiving um, certificates when they turn in their um, Chromebooks and all of their um, textbooks, etc. They are Tyler Russell, Nathan Goss, Trinity Gade, Kyra McBride, Graciana Smith, Riley Mize, Diamond Owens, James McElveen, Freeman Williams, Destiny Keeve, Samantha Evans, Chase Albin, Maddie Huggins, Anna Odom, John Turner, Andrew Rogers, Thomas Edwards. Congratulations to these eighth graders for their leadership this year in the arts. Our seventh grade awards go to the students who auditioned into the academy as sixth graders and they have participated in the arts academy this year. And those students are, and they will receive a medal with, when they turn in their belongings. They are Deborah Barr, Caleb Byram, Courtney Coward, Zamaya Gamble, Chloe Broadwell, Giovanni Brown, Jacob Sedelo, Reese Charles, Evan Edwards, Jenna Fox, Jacob Gray, Jackson Hewitt, Joya Baker Earl, Zabria Burks, Danny Collins, Nathan Freshwater, Dorothy Harris, Haiti Harrison, Susanna Hyden, Berniah Jackson, Nadia Latchgar, Carly McKay, Benjamin O'Dell, Eleanor Rawlinson, Hazel Starr, Valerie Welch, Savannah Johnson, Madison Little, Reagan Mills, Addison Purnell, Emma Salyer, Layla Souter, Eli White, Roland Keeve, Ryan Matney, Victoria Moore, Malin Peters, Ella Shelton, Avery Thompson, Emma White, Emma King, Janaya McCullum, Zan Mosley, Katherine Putnam, Tiana Singleton, Emma Truitt, Eliza Young, and Keely Gerald. Thank you, that is a um, large academy class and we're very proud of them for their accomplishments this year. Our next award is to name the, um, thank this 2019-20 Southside Blue Notes. And they are, thank you, Anna Costello, Emily Fulgham, Trinity Gade, Nathan Goss, Cadence Hatchell, Lucy Humphrey, Sari Jackson, Kira McBride, Kamaya Moore, Tyler Russell, Haven Singleton, Gracie Smith, and London Young. Congratulations to the new Blue Notes who will be Blue Notes for 2020-2021. They are Kylie Bonnet, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, Emma Salyer, Zabria Burks, Eli White, Caleb Byram, Eliza Young, Danny Collins, Eleanor Rawlinson, Jackson Hewitt, Angela, I'm sorry, Catherine Putnam, Jacob Gray, Mally Porter, Savannah Johnson, Victoria Moore, Ryan Matney, and Carly McKay. Congratulations. Ms. Perkins would like to uh, acknowledge the students who made all state chorus. This is a very high honor. There are lots of students in the state that try out. And we had four students, I'm sorry, three students, nope, four, to make the <laughs> all state chorus. Trinity Gade, Tyler Russell, Jacob Gray, and Ryan Matney. 
The finalists for Florence's won vocal stars, Sari Jackson, Eve Evans, Jacob Gray. Ms. Perkins would also like to award chorus com a Chorus Commitment and Dedication Award for Kylie Bonnet, Zabria Burks, Caleb Byram, Keely Gerald, Carly McKay, and Katherine Putnam. We have four students accepted to the summer program at the South Carolina Governor's School. We're very proud of these students. Three are eighth graders and one is a seventh grader. Unfortunately, they won't be able to attend. I hope that they're going to be able to do something online to make up for it. But they are Tyler Russell for Voice, Freeman Williams, Visual Art, Gracie Smith, Voice, and Zabria Burks for Theater. Usually our eighth grade students choose the outstanding drama student based on their performances in the spring play. Since that didn't happen, I chose the student based on growth and what I had seen in the students based on from the beginning of school to where they were when we left school and have continued with e-learning. The outstanding drama student for 2019-2020 is Samantha Eve Evans. Congratulations. Same thing for Falcon News Network. The person that did anything I asked, edited, was there, was reliable. I could depend on her to do what needed to be done. And that person is Anna Odom. Ms. Lewis would like to um, award a Leadership in Dance Award. This goes to Layla Battles for outstanding leadership and dedication to dance. Congratulations, Layla. Mr. Cooper has some Region 5 Honor Band members. That, that is Taylor Ferguson, qualified for Honor Band, Region 5. An Outstanding Performance Award goes to Jacob Gray, Taylor Ferguson. The Most Improved Band student goes to Berniah Jackson and Tyra Davis. For Visual Art, the Excellence in Art Award goes to Katie Fields. Creativity in Art Award goes to Freeman Williams and Ada Estep. The Outstanding Performance in Art Award goes to Savannah Butler, Aidan Calcutt, Aubrey Gregory, Stacey Anna Keith, and Caitlin Milligan. We had several students that qualified to have photographs um, displayed at art fields. And I believe they're doing something online, so maybe their photographs will still be displayed. They are Malin Peters, Ben O'Dell, Jenna Fox, Jacob Sedlo, Reese Charles, and Emma King. We had two students receive honorable mention for the um, South Carolina Education Association photo contest. Those students are Dorothy Harris and Deborah Barr. Thank you again. We're so proud of all of our art students and we look forward to an awesome year next year. Thank you. And now it's time for our Academic Excellence Awards. Due to the unusual circumstances of the 2019-2020 school year, we tried to consider students who were struggling with e-learning as well as those who were excelling with e-learning. Honor roll was determined in one of two ways. Number one, a student earned all A honor roll if by May 7th, the student made all A's in the first semester in third nine weeks, or if they made all A's for their final end of the year grade in all classes. Similarly, if a student earned a B honor roll, if by May 7th, the student made all A's and B's in the first semester and third nine weeks, or if they made a all, all A's and B's for their final end of the year grade in all classes. Along with honor roll, each team chose a student of the year and each core teacher chose a scholar student. These students exemplified character and academic traits that allow the student to stand out from his or her peers. Presenting the awards for team one is Ms. Alexis Morris. I'm so glad to be here representing Team One. The other teachers on Team One are Miss Leslie Austin, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Lionel Cribb, myself, and Miss uh, Jennifer Pachota. We chose Destiny Euling as our um, scholar student. Destiny has proven herself to be a strong student and a positive role model in each class. She consistently works to her fullest potential and is welcome to any suggestions or work that would help her learn or do more, learn more or do better. 
Whether it be individual or group work, Destiny stays on task, gets along with her peers. She's willing to work with any classmate and will help her lead group members to success. Destiny is very diligent about her work and will always take the initiative to reach out regarding missed work if she is not in class. When looking at an overall view of which student and our team best exhibits strength with consistency with work ethic, behavior, relationship, and peers, and attitude to school, Destiny meets and exceeds our expectations. For now, the team, team one's all A honor roll are Ashley Barker, Kayla Byram, Tyler Cotfield, Mackenzie Duremo, Jenna Fox, Samira Gurley, Henry Love, and Sky Nutt. Cohen Springs, William Stone, Christian Taylor, Helena True, Leighton Welch, and William Wakila. Congratulations to them. Now I'm excited to present our AB Honor Roll students who worked just as hard. Giovanni Brown, Sabria Burks, Mason Coleman, Danny Collins, Riley Crumpler, Kamora Davis, Jacob Gray, Helena Gregory, Hannah Griffith, Jackson Hewitt, Caleb Johnson, Gracie Levener, Ryan Matney, Janiah McCollum, LaDestiny McFadden, Rachel Nye, Gavin Nichols, Casey Shaw, Samantha Drew Teha, Jaslyn Timmons, Destiny Euling, Valerie Welch, and Eliza Young. So each one of the teachers got to pick their scholar. Mr. Krim for math picked Ms. Samira Gerling. Samira is a sweet young lady who has worked very hard in math class from the start of the school year. Her work is always organized and neat. She has the desire to learn and always entered the classroom ready to work. Every assignment assigned, Samir has completed it with the best of her ability. Her work ethic has earned her a yearly average of an A. She is very respectful and caring. Daily, she would greet me to see how my day was going. Her future is very bright and I wish her much academic success. For social studies, Ms. Leslie Austin chose Mr. Layton Welch. Excellence is not an act, but a habit, quote by Will Durant. Students were challenged at the beginning of the school year to personify the above quote, which meant that everything they would, they would strive for excellence. Layton is the true embodiment of said quote, an intelligent and personable student. Layton showed up to class every day with a desire to learn. He demonstrated a positive attitude, dedication, paid keen attention to details, and effectively worked well with others. He exceeded expectations on every occasion. He made our class discussions an absolute delight. He was often tasked with being the leader of his peers and he did so eloquently. His attributes were infectious and inspiring to his peers, a natural leader and a beacon to his peers to positively channel their abilities. It has been my utmost pleasure to teach such an astute student. With great honor, Leighton Welch is Miss Leslie Austin's Social Studies Scholar of the 2019-20 school year. Science. Miss Sky Nutt is a delightful student. She walks into the room happy and sincerely greets me and the other students. Sky is engaged in the day's activities and encourages her classmates. Always conscientious, she assists others and shows great patience. She participates in class discussions and is a leader during lab work. Sky is an A student and puts forth her best effort for all assignments. And finally, for the English award, is Mr. Caleb Byron. Caleb shows up to class every day with a smile on his face and an eagerness to learn. He is always willing to participate, takes the initiative to get ahead of work when he knows he will be absent, and gives his full effort to every assignment. He demonstrates a great attitude and worth ethic, which makes him an excellent role model in his peers. Way to go, team one. Team two, Ms. Crystal Bishop. I am so excited to be here to present the word of the awards for Team 2 on behalf of Mr. Ray, Mr. Trussell, and Mr. Scott. So Team 2 Student of the Year, Erin Sperry. Erin gives her best in every class with an evident desire to learn and a competitive desire to be her best at everything she tries, always on task and extremely respectful of staff and fellow students. Team 2 AB Honor Roll. That honor goes to Lois Isaiah, Janasia Rose, Ashanti Samuel, Austin Spencer, Aaron Sperry, and Zytrivia Walker. Team two scholars for Mr. Ray in math. Lois Isaiah gives her best every day with passion and commitment to learn, not to mention a driving force to be at the top, always on task and extremely respectful and appreciative of staff and fellow students. Mr. Scott Scholar for Social Studies is Valerie Welch. Valerie is a hardworking and dedicated student who always puts her work first and helps others when needed. 
She was respectful to all staff and students in the classroom and was a pleasure to teach this school year. She has a very bright future ahead of her. The Scholar for Science awarded from Mr. Trussell is Austin Spencer. Austin gave his best every time he stepped into the science classroom. He has the desire to learn and understand that education is power for future success. The Scholar for English awarded from me, Mrs. Bishop, Jeremiah Mitchell. Jeremiah has made a tremendous amount of progress. He completes all of his assignments and works hard to improve his knowledge and grade. He never gives up and is truly appreciated. And now to present the academic awards for team three is Ms. Brooke Holcomb. Thank you for having me to represent team three with Ms. Ocampa, Ms. Jones, Mr. Carter, and myself. Team three student of the year is Andrea Scott. Andrea comes to class every day with a desire to learn and a smile on her face. She is dedicated to being the best version of herself and puts a great amount of effort into everything she does. Andrea does a fantastic job of staying on task in class, turning in her work on time, and being respectful of both of her peers and teachers. Respectful and responsible are two words that describe why Andrea is a great role model for other students and is being honored for the student of the year. Congratulations, Andrea. Team three, AB honor roll. Kinsley Cox, Christopher Curry, Ariana Devon, Samaya Gamble, Casey Graham, Lawson Hammond, Ryan Lennon, Lily Paget, Layla Suter, Andrea Scott, Cannon Timmons, Deshaun Graham Davis, Grayson Guilford, Aisha Moore, Tavares Jackson, Jeremiah Taylor. Congratulations. Team three scholars. For Ms. Jones in math, Kinsley Cox. Kinsley comes to class every day and ready to prepare to learn. She doesn't mind taking on difficult challenges in math, and she has very effort to solve problems in math with enthusiasm. Kinsley is respectful. She lets you know when she is not going to be at school. She always makes effort to make up her work, and she is a math whiz in solving math problems. Congratulations. For math, Ms. Ocampo, India Dees. India has been a good student in math class. She comes to class prepared, focused, asks questions, and works well with others. She is a hard worker and very conscientious about her work. India always tries her best and gives 100% in what she does. She is well-mannered and very respectful. Congratulations. For social studies, Mr. Carter, Andrea Scott. Andrea has been an excellent student in social studies class. She always comes to class prepared and learned to ready for to participate. When asked, she is willing to offer help to other students who are having trouble grasping information we covered in class. Besides her academic work, Andrea is extremely respectful and well-mannered young lady. The sky's the limit for her for her future endeavors. For science, with honor, I want to graduate Lily Paget. Lily has excelled in my class all year long. She goes out of her way to help others. She is a wonderful leader and I can't wait to see her grow in science. For English, Miss Woodbury, Victoria Madrano Reyes. Victoria has a positive and pleasant disposition in my class. No matter what may occur around Victoria, she remains focused, stays on task, and stands out, stands out as a leader amongst her peers. Congratulations, Victoria. And now to present the academic awards for Team 4 is Miss Stacy McGee. I am here to represent team number four um, for myself, Ms. McGee, for Mr. Uh, Ellerby, Mr. McAvoy, Mr. Mays, and Ms. Hodges. We're so cool, we have five teachers. All right, so our team four student of the year uh, is uh, a student that always goes above and beyond academically. Their attention to detail is impressive, and not only do they ask good questions and add positively to class lessons, but they're also very kind and helpful, and a helpful friend to many. Uh, we know that this student has great things in store as they continue their academic career and beyond. Uh, the Team 4 Student of the Year is Lyrica Myers. All right, now I will read through the Team 4 All A Honor Roll. We have Caden Bennett, Chloe Broadwell, Arielle Dozier, Alex Freeman, Julio Garcia, Amaya Hamrick, Susanna Hyden, Leah Hudson, Tyler Hughes, Caden Anabinet, Brenaya Jackson, Nadia Lochgar, Carly McKay, Noah Mullins, Lyrica Myers, Benjamin O'Dell, Peyton Perry, Mally Porter, Caden Poston, Emma Salyer, Charlie Steele, 
Avery Thompson, and Clara Tolley. Now I will read through the team for AB honor roll. We have Jamon Adams, Pablo Almeras, Cole Bailey, Deborah Barr, Christian Brune, Jacob Sedelot, Ariana Salea, Reese Charles, Samariana Cloudy, Courtney Coward, uh, Ayana Graham, Landon Hill, Bree Jet Kennard, Cameron Call, Lauren Lee, Reagan Mills, Malin Peters, Kylie Porche, Katherine Putnam, Eleanor Rowlinson, Emma Truitt, Austin Williams, and Zyasia Williams. All right, so on to our team four scholars. For math, for Mr. McAvoy, he has chosen Clara Tolley. He says, I will always remember Clara at the beginning of the school year. She was struggling with some of the material and even told me she was not good at math. However, through hard work and perseverance, Clara became one of my strongest students, earning an A for the year. Uh, our social studies student from Mr. Ellerby is Ben O'Dell. He says that Ben always goes above and beyond the academic requirements. He questions himself and he questions the teacher. It is clear that he has a thirst for learning and he is doing so at a high level. Our science award from myself goes to Avery Thompson. Avery always does her best, even during e-learning. She asks really good science questions and she is a leader in the classroom. Right, for one of our English teachers, Ms. Hodges, her student is Tyler Hughes. Tyler comes into my class with a positive attitude and is always ready to learn. He asks tough questions every day and is willing to assist surrounding students who may be struggling. Tyler strives to make good grades and it shows in his worth work both in class and in e-learning. And then from our other English teacher, Mr. Mays, his student of the year is Nadia Lachgar. Nadia always goes above and beyond as a student. She does not settle for anything less than her best and makes sure that her grades reflect her hard work. Thank you from Team Four. And now for the eighth grade portion of our academic awards, please welcome Mr. Scott Carter who will present the Team Five Awards. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here and representing Team Five. Uh, our team teachers send out their love and their uh, shout outs to you from Ms. Powers, Ms. Hudson, and Ms. Young. Our student of the year for Team 5. We had many students we could have chosen for this award, but we have chosen a young lady that has consistently done an amazing job in all of her classes while participating in many extracurricular activities. She always has a smile and a constant positive attitude. She is helpful and courteous to everyone. She gives 110% to anything she does. Our team choice for Student of the Year is Maddie Huggins. Team 5, A Honor Roll. Kristen Abercrombie, Shamaria Adams, Ava Artis, Aaron Boggs, Zalia Brown, Christina Kane, Riley Cooper, Kinsley Cox, Tyra Davis, Thomas Edwards, Lily Exum, Taylor Ferguson, Heather Garcia, Nathan Galls, Chandler Harris, Jackson Hicks, Jack Holt, Maddie Huggins, Noah Isaiah, Ian Jolly, Stacyana Keith, Diamond Kelly, Sydney Kelsey, Nina Moore, and Sarah Moore, John Norris, Kaylee Rebel, Graciana Smith, John Turner, and Wyatt Williams. The AB honor roll for team, from Team 5, Quincy Boyd, Livingston Bridger, Aiden Calcutt, Trinity Dang, Ryan Easley, Brooke Gale, Sanaya Jenneret Smith, Ethan Hildreth, Gray Johnson, William Kercher, Kimber Legg, Noah Moore, Autumn Sanders, Jakiah Reeves Stuckey, Maddox Ridenhauer, Andrew Rogers, Parker Russ, Kalia Timmons, and Gracie Turner. Team Five Scholars. For, excuse me, for eighth grade math, Taylor Ferguson. Taylor Ferguson has good grades, but more than that, she strives to do her best in every task. She quietly goes about getting things accomplished and works to make sure she understands concepts in addition to scoring high marks. She is respectful of others and has the respect of those who know her. She is an exceptional student and has a bright future ahead of her. From Algebra One, 
Sydney Kelsey. Sydney is, Sydney is a joy to know and work with in algebra. She just quietly goes about getting tasks completed. She wants to do the best she can on all assignments. More importantly, she wants to understand the concepts being taught. She is respectful towards anyone. She always has a smile and a greeting for others. And she even laughs at and tolerates Mr. Carter's jokes and his, oh yeah, macho man impersonation. A wonderful young lady who will excel in her future endeavors. For social studies, from Miss Powers has chosen Ian Jolly. Ian is the Team 5 Social Studies Scholar. He is respectful and soft-spoken. He sets high expectations for himself and works hard to accomplish his goals. His intellectual eagerness is balanced well with his willingness to help others. He quietly faces challenges with determination and eagerly completes all assignments. He is a leader in the classroom and is respected by his peers and his teachers. He is a model student and will continue to be an asset in classes and future career. It's been a pleasure to teach such a phenomenal student. For science, Ms. Hudson has chosen Riley Cooper. Riley is chosen as a science scholar because of her determination for excellence. She consistently shows a genuine interest in science and in getting the most out of her education. She does excellent work and does not hesitate to ask questions when she is not sure of something. She is kind to everyone and will help out her classmates anytime it's needed. Not only is she an excellent scholar, she is also an active in other school activities. Riley sets high expectations and goals for herself and will continue to be successful. For English, Ms. Young has cho chosen Destiny Keeve. Destiny has the highest average of all my ELA classes. She has a wonderful work ethic and tries her best even when it is things she may not enjoy. She is always polite and courteous, a joy to have in class. And finally, from English 1, Ms. Young has chosen Thomas Edwards. Thomas has the highest average of all English 1 classes. He always gives his best and completes every assignment on time, if not early. He is a joy to teach and always has a smile to share with everyone. Thank you. And now to present the academic award for Team Six is Miss Jessica Moore. Welcome from Team Six. I'm here to represent Mr. Burns, Miss Parker, Miss Brazel. For our Team 6 Student of the Year, we unanimously chose Ronald Keefe as our student. Ronald may be quiet, but his effort and kind actions speak for him, and he made a huge impression on all of us this year. Not only does he strive for greatness in, in his academics, but he also shows kindness and compassion to all others. Uh, we could all learn lessons from him. The Team 6 All-A Honor Roll, Timothy Fields, Jordan Harris, Shantuan Harkless. Congratulations, guys. Team 6 AB Honor Roll, Landon Kane, Destiny Evans, Drenaya Hudson, Drayana Hurst, Chase Graham, Ronald Keeve, Denesha Law, Menage McCall, Kamari Myers, Rosalind Ponce. I'd like to congratulate the Team 6 Scholars. Ms. Parker chose Makai Matthews as her math scholar. Makai has been chosen as Ms. Parker's math scholar because he has shown the most improvement over the school year. Makai has worked very hard throughout the school year to ensure that he does well. As the year progressed, he became more focused and began to participate more in, in the classroom. He's had a great attitude and was the student that Ms. Parker would ask to help other students. Ms. Brazel chose Timothy Fields as her social studies award. Timothy is a very inquisitive student who is always striving to fully understand the topic at hand. He asks multiple questions every day, which is a blessing to many students who are too afraid to ask themselves. He is academically gifted, often having the highest average of any of my students. He is also always in a positive mindset and reads to learn in class. He is an A class scholar. Mr. Burns had this to say about his science scholar, Shantuan Harkless. Shantuan has been chosen as my science scholar because he possesses all of the following characteristics. He's hardworking, he makes no excuses, and he doesn't complain. He's tenacious, he doesn't quit until it's done right. He's a true scholar. He is not pleased with, a, with subpar grades. He strives to do his best. He's honest. He will tell the truth no matter what the outcome. And lastly, he's enjoyable. He's a great young man with a bright future ahead. 
This is just one award amongst the many accomplishments to come. Mr. Byrne says to keep being you, sir, and continue to strive for greatness. My English award goes to Jordan Harris. It was easy to pick Jordan as my ELA scholar, but it wasn't just the fact that he maintained an A all year in my class. I also picked Jordan because he really does have the heart of a scholar. In whatever task he has set before him, he pursues greatness wholeheartedly. He's the kind of student everyone wants on their team or on their side of the debate. Having Jordan in my first class always got my day started on the right foot, and I can't wait to see what he does next. Congratulations to all the Team 6 scholars. And now to present the academic awards for Team 7 is Ms. Kimberly Matthews Robinson. On behalf of Team 7, I would like to introduce our Team 7 Student of the Year. Our Team 7 Student of the Year is Nazir Davis. Nazir exemplifies all of the qualities that any teacher would desire in a student. He is ambitious, self-motivated, and a role model for his peers. Each day, Nazir brings joy not only to his teachers, but to his peers as well. His desire to learn, work ethic, and character will take him far. His future is bright, and he will excel. Team 7 All-8 Honor Roll students, Brian Brownlee, Savannah Butler, Destiny Keefe. Team 7 AB Honor Roll students, Shamaya Aldredge, Francisco Almarez, Jamari Brown, Jordan Cooper, Joy Cullen, Sienna Goss, Aubrey Gregory, Erica Hennix Howell, Lucy Humphrey, Summer Marshall, Owen Mitchell, Terrence Moore, Anaya Perry, Jamarian Robinson, Matthew Shoemake, Mariah Suggs, Chandler Thompson, and Thomas Young. Team 7 Math Scholar, Ms. Bishop chose Terrence Moore as the recipient for math. Terrence has been chosen as the math scholar because he is the type of student that teachers dream of. He is a hard worker, always gives his best effort. He is an active participant in class discussions, and he is a joy to teach. Ms. Garrison also chose Sianna Goss as a math recipient. She is a standout student in all of her classes, and she displays a positive attitude towards both academic work and her classmates. She is always willing to help another student, and she does not hesitate to do whatever is asked of her. I am confident that her consistent diligence will lead her to a success in whatever she chooses to attempt in her future. And now on to social studies. Mr. Deese chose Mariah Suggs. Mariah contributes to the class discussions, is earnest in her work, and consistently achieves high marks in her pursuit of academic excellence. Mr. Johnson chose Jakari Brooks for the Science Award. Jakari has consistently worked hard, displayed a positive attitude, and has done great in my class throughout and throughout the year. He always comes excited to learn, works well with others, and when working with groups. He has done his work consistently and enthusiastically, both in the classroom and during the e-learning period. Owen Mitchell will receive the ELA Award. That's me. Owen is a student of character at Southside Middle School. As his teacher, I have had the privilege to witness his dedication and commitment to his education in Florence One School. He is ambitious, eager to learn, participates well in cooperative groups, and an asset to the class. And now to present the two academic awards, please welcome Ms. Dawn Gray. Teammate was blessed with many great Falcons, and we truly enjoyed having each of you in our classes. The year certainly didn't end the way we planned, and not being able to finish the year out and say our goodbyes and good lucks and see you later has been tough. I hope each of you go to the high school and show them how great you are. Make the best of your high school years, and we will miss you. Team 8, Student of the Year. Team 8 had a difficult time of choosing a Student of the Year because we had so many who came to our mind who we thought we could give the award to. But the student we chose might be someone who could be overlooked because she is quiet and soft-spoken. She may be quiet, but she is mighty in many ways. We want this young lady to know that Team 8 has not overlooked her hard work this past year. She exhibits all the qualities we dream about for every one of our students. She carries herself with grace. She is kind, hardworking, always does her best, smiles with a sweet smile, and is humble. The young lady provides evidence to the strength of our education system, the character of her family, and the courage of one young lady to always do her best in the classroom. We would like to award Kennedy Timmons with our Student of the Year Award. It has been an honor to have you in our class this year and we look forward to seeing your amazing future. Our Team 8 Honor Roll. 
We have Cy all A honor roll, excuse me. We have Cyan Bryant, Grayson Fountain, Lane Hatchell, Kayla Leggett, Layla Leggett, Iana Iana McDonald, Riley Mize, and Katie Lynn Milligan. Congratulations. For Team A, A B honor roll, we have Tanner Anderson, Caitlin Bellamy, Curvin Brand, Allison Carter, Zakaria Boyd, Latoria Davis, Cameron Davis, Juan Fargus, Catherine Fields, Jenna Flowers Gargis, Lauren Godbold, Jadaren Green, McKinley Hickman, Pierce Hickson, Sari Jackson, Justin Joe, and Connor Jones. Alex Kircher, Jackson McCullum, Jojo Peterkin, Anaya Douglas, Kamaya McKenzie, Logan Miller, Diamond Owens, Janiah Salters, Kennedy Timmons, Lucas Turner, Jacqueline Uskanga, and Robert White. Congratulations to those students. For our scholars, Ms. Montgomery chose Diamond Owens. Diamond Owens is a young lady whose character speaks for itself. She is determined, motivated, kind, respectful, and works hard on all assignments. Diamond also has been a mentor to her fellow students by helping them in class on various assignments, as well as volunteering to assist wherever she is needed. The sky is the limit for Diamond because she will definitely strive to reach the top. Ms. Montgomery also chose an Algebra I scholar, and that would be Riley Mize. Riley Mize is an exceptional student who possesses an abundance of knowledge. He enjoys embracing new learning and welcomes a challenge. Riley works hard to accomplish all tasks given to him. He is kind, respectful, motivated, and determined, all ingredients for success. Ms. Gray, me, um, chose Grayson Fountain. When making this decision, I looked at students' grades, but also considered students' interest in the subject, engagement, their accountability, and getting the job done. I personally chose Grayson because he always does things with 100% effort. He has all A's in all classes, but he also puts a lot of thought into his responses. He communicates with me if he ever has a question or needs, me to, um, needs to know something. And if he is ever out of school, his work is done within one day, which shows great initiative and shows that grades are his top priority. He has a natural interest in social studies, which makes him a joy to teach. In science, Ms. Mims chose Justin Joe. It is, this has been a difficult, Ms. Mim says this has been a difficult year to say the least, but the student I have chosen has shined even throughout distance learning. He is a top-notch student across all subjects, but his curiosity definitely stands out in a science classroom. He has been a leader inside and outside of the classroom, and he always has a smile on his face when he says, good afternoon, Ms. Mim. He always takes the lead during discussions and asks in-depth questions about the content we are covering. This student is always willing to help others in the group during experiments and does so without taking over. He has very high expectations for his own life and I know he will accomplish his goals in the future. This is why I have selected Justin Joe as the science scholar for the 1920 school year. Ms. Mack, her eighth grade English award goes to Zakaria Boyd. Zakaria is deserving of this title because of her strong work ethic, conscientiousness, and level of commitment. Consistently making A's each grading period, she's an active participant in class and she is always willing to assist her classmates. Zakaria wrote the school's winning essay for the Florence One School's essay contest. Ms. Mack says she has watched her growth and development as she transitioned from an introvert to a self-assured and confident young lady. I am proud to bestow her with the title of ELA Scholar. And finally, Ms. Mack has an English One Scholar and that student is Kervin Brand. Kervin, Kervin, though he is a student of very few words, is a student who speaks loudly with exceptional character. Kervin is a hard worker who often exceeds expectation. An outstanding English One student, Kervin has maintained an A average each nine weeks. His willingness to persevere and give his personal best is a testament of his diligence and commitment to excellence. Each day before entering the classroom, he looked me in the eyes and said, hello, Miss Mack, how are you today? This gesture was indicative of the level of respect and he exemplified daily. Kervin Brand is very much deserving to be named the English One Scholar. Congratulations to all the students in Team 8. And now to present the academic awards for Team 9, please welcome Ms. Joanne Ward. to recognize the award winners for Team 9. We have some of the hardest working students in the school. The first award winners are our AB honor roll. We have Kurt Kraft, Coven Derry, and Delosh Pickens. Now our Team 9 scholars, 
We have first Sakaya Sherd. Sakaya is a hardworking young lady, always polite, and she has made amazing progress this year. Our second scholar is Avery Guilford and has done a great job throughout the school year as well as with her e-learning. Another scholar we have is Kaden Odom, Amani Gregg, Nakaya McCray. Nakaya is a hard worker and will do anything that's asked of her. And that's our scholars for Team 9. And that is the remainder of our academic awards is our principal, Ms. Shan Josie. I am honored to present the seventh grade marshals. The marshals are our seventh grade students with the highest overall averages in the seventh grade. This is a great achievement and Southside is proud of the following students who will serve as our marshals. Congratulations to Jenna Fox, Susanna Hyden, Nadia Lochgar, Lyrica Myers, Sky Nutt, Ben O'Dell, Caden Poston, Emma Sawyer, Cohen Springs, Avery Thompson, and Leighton Welch. It's my pleasure to present the Administrator's Award of Character and Leadership. This award is chosen by the Southside Middle School Administrative Team and recognizes students that stand out and exemplify the following qualities and characteristics. Dependability, respect, responsibility, enthusiasm, and joyfulness. Congratulations to the following seventh grade recipients. Jacob Gray, Addison Purnell, Andrea Scott, Eliana Miller-Martinez, Ashanti Samuel, Leighton Welch, Paisley Ward, and Lyrica Myers. Congratulations to the following eighth grade recipients. Jordan Cooper, Grayson Fountain, Maddie Huggins, Logan McCullough, Diamond Owens, London Young, Freeman Williams, Chase Alban, Gracie Smith, and Sanaya Generette Smith. Finally, it is my honor to present the Pointer Award. Each year, one eighth grader is chosen by the administrative team who exemplifies outstanding characteristics in leadership, scholarship, and personality. This year's recipient is Tyler Russell. Tyler Russell goes above and beyond every day to set an example for his peers. Thank you, Tyler, for your service to Southside Middle School. Congratulations to all of our award winners. I, along with your teachers and administrators, commend you on your hard work, dedication, and commitment to excellence. You have much to be proud of, and we are proud to have played a small part in your journey thus far. Although this year certainly didn't end the way we would have liked, you have persevered and made the best of a difficult situation. It's my hope that the lessons we have all learned about supporting one another and pushing through tough times will not be forgotten as we move forward. To my seventh graders who will be returning to Southside in the fall, I am excited to welcome you back as the seniors on campus. I trust that you will set a personal goal for yourself to work hard, strive for academic excellence, and be the best that you can be. We will be right here supporting you all the way. And to my eighth graders, as you head off to South Florence High School, it is my hope that we have provided you with the tools to be successful and the confidence to make wise decisions. You have heard me say many times that the choices you make today influence the path that you take tomorrow. I look forward to watching your high school journey and I also look forward to cheering you on four years from now as you walk across that graduation stage. We will miss you. Make us proud and know that you will always have a home at Southside. Have a wonderful summer and congratulations to all of our students, not just our award recipients, but to all of our Southside students. We are proud of you for the successful completion of the 2019-2020 school year. Thank you for watching our Falcons Award program and congratulations to all of our high flyers. All certificates, medals, and trophies will be available for pickup on May the 22nd when you turn in your supplies. For Mr. Sullivan and Ms. Josie, thank you for watching our 2019-2020 awards ceremony. But we're not done yet. It is my distinct pleasure at this time to share with you the Southside Teacher of the Year who happens to be the one and only Frankie Sullivan. <laughs> Are you 
kidding. When I think of a teacher who goes above and beyond, both for their students and their peers, it absolutely is Mr. Sullivan. Uh -huh. As my first year as principal, I could not have asked for a better right-hand man to do anything I asked and then go in above and beyond with, with just being quite the character that he is. Um, Mr. Sullivan, we could not do it without you. We are extremely fortunate to have you as part of our team, and I am extremely proud to call you one of my colleagues and friends. Much, much well-deserved. Congratulations, Mr. Sullivan. Thank you all so very much. It's up here my bush here. Thank you all so very much. I am honored, and I will start to cry, so I'm going to shut up. So thank you all very, very much. Life is a broken wing bird cannot fly. Old bows to dreams, more if dreams die. Life is a Oh, dear.